What is going on Diablo 2 fans, Dobrensky here and today I'm going to be breaking down a really cool Project Diablo 2 community member build. So this is not my whirlwind barbarian, this is someone else from the Project Diablo 2 community and it is a 30,000 damage whirlwind barb. It's a really fun character to play. There's some really cool changes that were made to whirlwind from LOD to PD2 so I'm going to cover those. Then we'll go over the gear, the attributes, skill tree and then follow up with some gameplay and of course timestamps will be in the description below. So if you guys want to bounce back and forth between different segments of the video, feel free to take advantage of them. And a quick reminder for those that don't know, I often play around with these builds, streaming Diablo 2 and other content on Twitch. I do stream there twice a week. So if you guys enjoy my YouTube content, you can hit me up with a follow on that platform. Link is of course in the description below. Any follows would be very much appreciated. But guys, hope you enjoy this video. Let's jump in. So there's a few key points that I just want to briefly touch on about Whirlwind and the differences between LOD and PD2 because in Lord of Destruction your increased attack speed breakpoints for Whirlwind are determined by the IS on the weapon only. That's not the case in Project Diablo 2. You hit 4 frames regardless of the weapon that you use so it really does open up a lot of different weapon choices because typically it's almost always like grief, dual grief or breath of the dying in LOD but now that you have a static 4 frame Whirlwind regardless of the weapon that you use. There's a lot of different weapon alternatives. And the second point that I want to touch on about Whirlwind is that as you continue to invest more points, the distance or the velocity speed from point A to point B, it speeds up, it gets quicker. So you can almost just stay in Whirlwind mode constantly because it's like running around, it's not very slow. So you can just stick around like the Tasmanian Devil, just moving your way through as you work through monsters. Now it's kind of an interesting talking point because a lot of people in LOD prefer to have no source of cannot be frozen. So they travel slower from point A to point B that basically means that they can get more spins and more attacks and hits per minute as they're clearing monster mobs. So it's fun to play from point A to point B. I don't really play a lot of Whirlwind in LOD, so I can't really tell you which one's better, but it feels like the PD2 one is better. But let's take a look at the character attributes. This Barbarian is a Max Vitus setup, so he has 249 points into Strength. That might seem like a lot for Max Vitality, but when you see the weapon, it'll make sense. So 249 there. Nothing into Dexterity, nothing in Energy, and then everything else is put into Vitality. This Barbarian has 2,402 life before Battle Orders, and it's kind of just below 3k with a bow bar buff. So again, that has been nerfed quite a bit. But you can see I have 24k damage from Whirlwind without the Fanaticism Aura and the Might Aura active from the Act 5 Mercenary. So for the skill point investment, there is one hard point into Frenzy, one into Concentrate, one into Berserk and then 28 hard points into Whirlwind for 54% velocity, 212% damage, and 375% attack rating. Now, is it stronger than LOD Whirlwind? It does feel like that to me, but I don't play a lot of Whirlwind Barb in general, so let me know in the comment section below if you guys think the PD2 Whirlwind Barb is better or worse. For combat masteries, there's one hard point in Iron Skin. Cool thing about this skill is that every two base levels, you get an additional physical damage reduction percentage, so really nice passive buff if you want to put a bunch of points into it but he has one hard point in iron skin one hard point in natural res combat reflexes a new introduced skill that gives max hp and fhr bonus in addition to stamina on every base level one hard point in increased walk speed so it's 32 percent and then completely maxed out general mastery so general mastery includes sword axe and mace weapons for 153% damage, 428% attack rating, and 31% crit strike. Now for War Cries, one hard point into Fine Potion, one hard point into Fine Item, one hard point into Howl, and then 19 into Shout, and then maxed Battle Orders and max Battle Command. So that might seem weird maxing Battle Command versus one hard point in LOD, but you get an additional skill level for every 10 base levels. So you get a bonus of three skills. Battle Orders is 395% flat life, so definitely a lot weaker than LOD, but it is plus life. And then Shout is just the same extra additional defense bonus. So the gear is where things get a little bit interesting. I think the weapon is super cool. This is an ethereal gavel of pain that was corrupted to have six open sockets and has six ohm runes, so 335 to 1812 damage. You can't proc amp damage on Whirlwind, but if you switch to Berserk, you have a good chance of procing amp damage. Iron Maiden when struck and it has repair durability so it's just doesn't run out of 
durability points, tons of damage, hits the max, four frames, whirlwind breakpoint, super, super powerful weapon. And the three open socket corrupted Ariat's face, which I believe this has a variety of ED jewels in it because that's 116% ED damage. Fortitude, Fortitude is a little bit worse than LED, it only has 200 ED, but uh, it is more enhanced damage. A corrupted Saracen's Chance Amulet. I'm not sure if maybe he planned on using High Lords and just doesn't quite have it yet, but uh, just a corrupted Saracen Chance Amulet. Cannot be frozen, corrupted Goblin Toes. These boots are interesting, they add flat enhanced damage, so 18 ED, uh, Crushing Blow, and to source of Cannot Be Frozen. A corrupted Dual Leech Ring with 40 to life and 12 Lightning Res. A Dexterity Corrupted Nosferatu's Coil with 10% Deadly Strike, so that's changed from LOD. Then we have a BK ring that's corrupted to have MF. So this is a really, really cool ring, adds ED. It's an additional added set item to the BK set. And then of course, Steel Rens, 74 ED. I mean, he has to hit that strength breakpoint anyways. It's 243 for Gavel Pain. So 185 for Steel Rens for extra ED. It's not necessarily a bad choice, especially with the nerfing of Laying Hands. It kind of makes Steel Rens a little bit more viable of an option. And then on the offhand, he has double dual Istit Alibabas, so if he wants to, he can hork corpses for a lot of additional MF. So it's kind of a, a cool combination of just a build that absolutely wrecks face, but also has MF and the chance of getting really nice items with the offhand and using item find. And then the inventory, we have different assorted Grand Charms here. So a Geet's Grand Charm, and then different max damage attack rating, and then combat skill plus life GCs. So there is definitely room for improvement here with like, Perfect max damage, attack rating, life, DCs. The character is a little bit better from the time that this save file was sent, so I could imagine the damage is even higher. And then a Barb Torch, Annie Charm, and then different strength, max damage, attack rating, poison, small charms. So there's a kind of filler charms, which again, he did tell me that the gear has been improved since this video. And then for the Mercenary, this is a really good combination of helping to increase the damage on the Barb as well as stacking some damage reduction and life leash for survivability. So starting off with the helmet, this is a corrupted crown of ages with one open socket and with a perfect ruby for a little bit more plus life. Again, DR, curse damage reduction duration, just a solid helmet to keep the mercenary alive. Corrupted poison res, shaft stop, DR and plus life, string of ears, life leech and DR. Again, stacking that DR as much as we possibly can. We'll find corrupted goblin toes. So there is a little bit room for improvement for the boots. And then chance to pierce Drax gloves. Now these are changed from LOD. There is no life tap proc, but they're just solid gloves, increased attack speed, life stolen per hit, life after each kill, just trying to keep again the mercenary alive. Now again, not perfect corruptions, but it's still a solid work in progress mercenary. And of course the Act 5 mercenary provides the barbarian with the might aura. And then he's wielding beast and ethereal berserker axe for fanaticism. Again, boosting the damage of the barbarian. The last thing that I want to do is to wrap up this video with some example gameplay. So I thought since this is a super powerful character, why not do a rare tier three map and kind of really show the raw potential of this build. So this is the map that I'm going to run. It's a river of blood map, 32% experience, monster density is 190 and then additional magic find and gold find. I am feeling lazy today. I'm not going to be horking monsters on the offhand, but that is a possibility with this build, but let's just Wreck face, see how it goes. So buff up. Now I don't really know the map layout. I have not run this map very much in single player or at all really, because I don't have characters that are capable of farming this map. This is what I was talking about with the velocity increase changes. I mean, you can just constantly stay in whirlwind mode all the time. I'm waiting for somebody in the comment section to tell me that I don't have perfect try whirlwind technique, but that's okay. Because I don't care. Anyways. So yeah, this build makes me kind of regret going druid. I should have gone whirlwind barbarian. I think a lot of it is largely based on the weapon too. Like it's pretty rare to have an ethereal 
Six open sockets, six ohm gavel of pain. Man, this is. This is where it's at. Just AFK whirlwind in the way. I haven't really had any close calls yet. I'm sure I might because I have ant damage, but cursed on me at the moment. Ooh. That was close there. This build wrecks. This is a lot of fun. The gameplay might get a little bit boring after a lot of this, because this is really just pull down your left click and just whirlwind away. Again, there would be more to it with item find. So that's just item finding. All the corpses. Trying to see if they can redeem something. Let's try and get as quickly as we can to Belial. And we'll see how this barb does against the tier map boss. Okay, here it is. This is where this is where Belial is. Dead. That's crazy. That is crazy. I can't even come close to killing Belial with the with my fire traps in. It's the best not character that I have. And I just kind of wow. Well guys, there you have it. That wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this World and Barbarian. I actually enjoy playing the World and Barb in PD2 compared to LOD. It's not really a character that I often like to play in original Diablo 2. But as always, if you guys could throw a like on this video, share it, even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I post new weekly content on YouTube and I stream twice a week on Twitch. So a follow on Twitch and a sub on YouTube would be amazing. Other than that, guys, hope you have a fan frickin' tastic day and I'll catch you on my next video or live stream. Peace out.